Ra. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. I thought that I would make a statement and let you correct it. I'm trying to make a simple model of the portion of the universe that we find ourselves in starting with the logos or sublogos, our sun. We have white light emanating from this. This is made up of the frequencies ranging from the red to the violet. I am assuming that this white light, this then contains the experiences through all of the densities, and as we go into the eighth density we go into a black hole which emerges on the other side as an other logos or sun and starts another octave of experience. Can you comment on this part of my statement? Ra. I am Ra. We can comment upon this statement to an extent. The concept of the white light of the sublogos being prismatically separated and later, at the final chapter, being absorbed again is basically correct. However, there are subtleties involved which are more than semantic. The white light which emanates and forms the articulated sublogos has its beginning in what may be metaphysically seen as darkness. The light comes into that darkness and transfigures it, causing the chaos to organize and become reflective or radiant. Thus the dimensions come into being. Conversely, the blackness of the black hole, metaphysically speaking, is a concentration of white light being systematically absorbed once again into the one creator. Finally, this absorption into the one creator continues until all the infinity of creations have attained sufficient spiritual mass in order that all form once again the great central sun, if you would so imagine it, of the intelligent infinity awaiting potentiation by free will. Thus the transition of the octave is a process which may be seen to enter into timelessness of unimaginable nature. To attempt to measure it by your time measures would be useless. Therefore, the concept of moving through the black hole of the ultimate spiritual gravity well and coming immediately into the next octave misses the subconcept or corollary of the portion of this process which is timeless. Questioner. Our astronomers have noticed that the light from spiral galaxies is approximately seven times less than that that it should be from their calculations of what their mass should be. I was wondering if that was due to the increase of spiritual mass in the galaxy in what we call white dwarf stars. Ra. I am Ra. This is basically correct and is a portion of the way our process of creation cycle. Questioner. Thank you. I was also wondering if the first density corresponded somehow to the color red, the second to the color orange, the third to the color yellow and so on through the densities corresponding to the colors in perhaps a way so that the basic vibration that forms the photon, that forms the color of all atomic particles would have a relationship to that color in the density and that that vibration would step up for second, third and fourth density corresponding to the increase in the vibration of the colors. Is this in any way correct? Ra. I am Ra. This is more correct than you have stated. Firstly, you are correct in positing a quantum, if you will, as the nature of each density, and further correct in assuming that these quanta may be seen to be of vibratory natures corresponding to color as you grasp this word. However, it is also true, as you have suspected, but not asked, that each density is of the metaphysical characteristic complex of its ray. Thus in first density the red ray is the foundation for all that is to come, in second density the orange ray is that of movement and growth of the individual, this ray striving towards the yellow ray of self-conscious manifestations of a social nature as well as individual, third density being the equivalent, and so forth, each density being primarily its ray plus the attractions of the following ray pulling it forward in evolution, and to some extent coloring, or shading the chief color of that density. Questioner. Then the bodily energy centers for an individual would be, assuming that the individual evolves in a straight line from first through to eighth density, would each of these energy centers or chakras be activated to completion, if everything worked, as it should? Would each be activated to completion, and greatest intensity by the end of the experience in each density? Ra. I am Ra. Hypothetically speaking, this is correct. However, the fully activated being is rare. Much emphasis is laid upon the harmonies and balances of individuals. It is necessary for graduation across densities for the primary energy centers to be functioning in such a way as to communicate with intelligent infinity and to appreciate and bask in this light in all of its purity. However, to fully activate each energy center is the mastery of few, for each center has a variable speed of rotation or activity. The important observation to be made once all necessary centers are activated to the minimal necessary degree is the harmony and balance between these energy centers. Questioner. Thank you. Taking as an example the transition between second and third density, when this transition takes place, does the frequency of vibration which forms the foot on the color of all particles of the density, does this frequency increase, from a frequency corresponding to second density or orange, the color orange, the frequency we measure for the color orange, to the frequency we measure for the color yellow? What I am getting at is, do all the vibrations that form the density, the basic vibrations of the photon, increase in a quantum fashion, over a relatively short period of time? Ra. I am Ra. This is correct. Then you see within each density the gradual upgrading of vibratory levels. Questioner. Would this is a guess? 
with the frequency going from second to third increase. From the middle orange frequency, or average orange frequency to the middle yellow frequency, or average yellow frequency. Ra. I am Ra. This query is indeterminate. We shall attempt to be of aid. However, the frequency that is the basis of each density is what may be called a true color. This term is impossible to define given your system of sensibilities and scientific measurements, for color has vibratory characteristics both in space-time and in time-space. The true color is then overlaid and tinged by the rainbow of the various vibratory levels within that density and the attraction vibrations of the next true color density. Questioner. How long was the time of transition on this planet between second and third density? A generation and a half, I believe. Is that correct? Ra. I am Ra. This is correct, the time measured in your years being approximately 1,350. Questioner. Then what will be the time of transition on this planet from third to fourth density? Ra. I am Ra. This is difficult to estimate due to the uncharacteristic anomalies of this transition. There are at this space-time nexus beings incarnate which have begun fourth density work. However, the third density climate of planetary consciousness is retarding the process. At this particular nexus the possibility probability vortices indicate somewhere between 100 and 700 of your years as transition period. This cannot be accurate due to the volatility of your peoples at this space-time. Questioner. Has the vibration of the basic, of the photon, of all our particles increased in frequency already? Ra. I am Ra. This is correct. It is this influence which has begun to cause thoughts to become things. As an example you may observe the thoughts of anger becoming those cells of the physical bodily complex going out of control to become what you call the cancer. Questioner. What, assuming that we are, our vibration I am assuming that this vibratory increase began about between 20 and 30 years ago. Is this correct? Ra. I am Ra. The first harbingers of this were approximately 45 of your years ago, the energies vibrating more intensely through the 40-year period preceding the final movement of vibratory matter, shall we say, through the quantum leap, as you would call it. Questioner. Starting then, 45 years ago, and taking the entire increase in vibration that we will experience in this density change, approximately what percentage of the way through this increase of vibration are we right now? Ra. I am Ra. The vibratory nature of your environment is true color, green. This is at this time heavily overwoven with the orange ray of planetary consciousness. However, the nature of quantum is such that the movement over the boundary is that of discrete placement of vibratory level. Questioner. You mentioned that thoughts of anger now are causing cancer. Can you expand on this mechanism, as it acts, as a catalyst, or its complete purpose? Ra. I am Ra. The fourth density is one of revealed information. Selves are not hidden to self or other selves. The imbalances or distortions which are of a destructive nature show, therefore, in more obvious ways, the vehicle of the mind-body-spirit complex thus acting as a teaching resource for self-revelation. These illnesses such as cancer are correspondingly very amenable to self-healing once the mechanism of the destructive influence has been grasped by the individual.